Daf Beis Amid Beis. We'll begin Daf Beis Amid Aleph, the bottom line. So we were discussing beforehand that the Kahanim, when it comes Seisuk Kachavim, if they were Tomei and they were Taival, and now it's night time is Seisuk Kachavim, even if they're a type of Tuma, they had a type of Tuma which they're required to bring a Korban. They're Machusri Kapora, a Matsaira, a Zav. Nevertheless, even though they can't eat Kachim until the next day, but as far as truma goes, they can eat it after tzeisuk kochavim. And we learn the pasuk. It says that Bo Hashem The way we're understanding the pasuk is is that the Bo Hashem is the sun sets v'toyer and the day is completed, and the sun is completely gone. The day is completed, and then they can eat truma. Meaning. It's not the pshat uba shemesh v'tar, and they will be matirim themselves, because that would imply that uba shemesh v'tar that the sun sets, it's nighttime, and then subsequently they would have to bring a korban, or perhaps uba shemesh the sun comes, the rising of the sun v'tar they bring the korban. It's a commandment that v'tar they have to bring a korban. And then they can eat truma. No, we're saying the Torah is not a commandment. It's not a commandment. The Torah means the sun sets, the day is completed. It doesn't mean that Uba Shemesh, that the sun rises and they are commanded to be matar themselves and bring a korban. So Frank the Gemara, how do you know what it means? that the sun set and the day has been completed, that's how you're learning it, and therefore, by Tseso Kachavim, they can already eat the truma, maybe it means the sun rises the next day, and they're commanded to bring the korban, they bring the korban, and after they bring the korban, they can eat the truma. If it's a commandment, then the Torah should say, they're commanded to be matar themselves. It should say, my v'tahir v'tahir yuma, it means the day has been completed. Kedah amri inshi, like the common expression is, yara shimsha v'tkeyayma, the sun sets and the day has gone, the day has been completed. So if it meant a command, it should say v'yitzar. Taisus points out that we do find many places that where it does say v'tahir when it means a command. But as Taisus, that that's when you cannot be confused, there's no confusion. But over here, you could learn it both ways. So if the Torah really meant it as a commandment, it should say very clearly, the Yitzhar, that they should be matar themselves. Since it doesn't say it in the form of a commandment, it means that the sun sets, the day is completed, it's Seso Kachovim, they can already eat the Truma. And that is a time when one can recite Krishna at night. They didn't hear this. <clears throat> and they had this Shaila, the same Shaila, they had the Shaila. Does it mean that the day is completed? Maybe it means the next morning after they bring the Korban. Now, they didn't uh, resolve it from analyzing the psukim and interpreting the psukim the way we did previously. They simply brought a raya, not from proving it from the psukim, but from the fact that this is the halacha, because the b'raisa says, similar to it says, it says, the simon is, says, therefore, shema mina, shimshu. It means that it's a sunset. It's a similar to the Seisachov. It means nighttime. At night, when there is Seisachov, then they can eat. My Vitar, Tar Yuma, the day has been completed. So we say, when is the Zaman of Krishna? The Zaman of Krishna, when the Kohanim are able to eat the Truma, meaning Tseisachachavim. Very meanwhile, asking a steer or contradiction. When is the time that you're allowed to recite Shema Ba'arvin? Misha'oni Nikhnas Lechol Pita Bemelach. The time when a poor person comes to eat his evening meal. He brings his bread with salt, he eats his evening meal. And it ends ends by the time he finishes his meal. So Seifa Vare Pliga Masnisa. The Seifa certainly argues on, on our mission. It says in our mission it says Morishina Khatsoy Salaisa Shakhar and here it says by the time he finishes his meal. So that certainly disputes is in with dispute with our mission. However, Raisha Milema Pliga Masnisan 
shall we say that the Reisha argues or not? Perhaps it's the same shear. Really, I'll tell you, it's the same thing, that the Ani, he comes in, he eats his meal, and says, Sukhachavin. Meaning, originally, like Rashi points out, we assume that the Ani, he doesn't have a candle, he's poor, he doesn't have light. He eats his meal a little bit earlier, when there's still some daylight. So, we assume that, perhaps, that it's not the same shear as says, Now the Gemara is saying, no, it really is. Let's suggest at this point that they are the same shear. It's just another way of identifying it, but really, they both mean say sukkachavin. Gemara says, "Well, if that's the case, Rimin will ask you a contradiction." <clears throat> we have another brayso that says, "When is the time that we say Krishna Baharvis? Misha shabin ayadam nichlasim lechol pitan barvish abosos divromer." At the time when people eat their meal on Erev Shabbos, that's what Ramir says. When they come to eat their suda Erev Shabbos, what's Erev Shabbos? What's the significance of Erev Shabbos? Rashi says, on Erev Shabbos, on at night on Shabbos, they eat their meal a little bit earlier because the meal has been already been prepared from beforehand. You have to prepare your meal from before Shabbos, so it's all ready. And therefore, it's a little bit earlier than the time that they would eat the meal during the week. So that is what Ramir says. Now, even though we don't have any proof that nighttime is at Seisukachavim, but there is a simon. It's an indication from the Pasuk. What's the indication? So the Pasuk in the Chemia says, talking about how they built the second base of Migdash, they had to be afraid, they were afraid from their enemies that would come to would try to disrupt the building of the base of Migdash and try to attack them. So they split up the Machna, and some people were working on building, and the other people were soldiers were protecting. So the Pasuk says, Vanach we were doing the work of building the base of Mektesh, and the other group was holding their spears, and they were guarding and protecting from Alois HaShachar to Eltzeis. So that would seem to indicate that daytime is from Alois, it ends at Seisukachavim, and Seisukachavim ready is nighttime. And furthermore, it says that the night was for guarding and the daytime was for working. My Weimer, what's the further indication that's and the mention here? Maybe you'll say no. Maybe you really say that the nighttime is really earlier. It's before Tzei Maybe it's Spanish Moshes. So maybe you'll tell Lilo. Already from Benish Moshes, maybe that's night. And maybe the, the period of daytime, perhaps, is from Nanetzachama until Benish Moshes. Not from Alois says. Now, they worked from Alois says. perhaps they started earlier and ended later. So it's not conclusive that the day starts at Alois and ends at says. Maybe they started earlier and ended later. It's defined as Hayyim is Malacha, the day, the time that they worked is defined as Yayim. So you see that Yayim is from Alois till says. Says of Chavim is Laila, and therefore Krishma Shalaila is at says. So if that's the case, then really why is this not a raya? So it says, Afal Pishen Arayla, there's no proof, there's a simon. Why isn't this a valid proof? So Taisa says, because this is not talking in respect to Krishna. It's talking about the working period. Perhaps in terms of working, that's how we define day. How do you know in terms of Krishna? So it's not a conclusive proof, it's not a conclusive raya. So the Gemara says, Kasal Kedaitach Da'ani Bnei Adam Chachi Yorah. So the assumption is, is that that same period of time that when an ani eats and people generally eat, that's the same time period. Now, we amrat ani v'kain chachi If you're going to say like we assumed before, that the ani, the poor person, when he eats is the same time as the kain, chacham ha'in rabmer, then it'll come out that the chachamim who say says it's the same time period as rabmer who says when people eat their meal. So obviously it can't be the same shear. El Shmamina Anishir Lachud. 
The kind shilachotza, doesn't that indicate and show you that the poor person, his meal is not the same time as when the kain is allowed to eat the truma, is not say sukkahava? Where it says, no, it doesn't show you that. Loi, ani ve kain chad shiuru. Maybe I'll tell you that ani and kain, that really is one shiva. Ani ube ne yadam, lav chad shiuru. But the ani, when he eats his meal, and people generally, when they eat the meal, that's not the same shiur. So we can't say conclusively, based on this, that the ani and the kain is not the same time period. Frank, the Gemara of Ani Vekain Chachi Can you say that Ani and Kain is the same time period? Very minimal ask you, Steer Mamas and Maschim Likres Shma, Ba'arven, Misha Shakir Shayem, Barisha Bosses, Divet Rabbi Lazar. So now we have a new sheet. Rabbi Lazar says from Baina Shmashas. When already Shabbos, the onset of Shabbos, that's Baina Shmashas. So this is an earlier time. He says, when the onset of Shabbos, Baina Shmashas, Rabbi Shuaim, Rabbi Shasha, Kahanim, Mitzvahim, Lachal, Mitzvahim, Rabbi Shuaim, says that when the Kahanim are now allowed to eat the Truma, that's Seisuk HaKhavim. Rishu says Seisuk HaKhavim. Rabbi Meir, I'm a Shosh HaKhanim, Toivim Lechav B'Trumasim. Rabbi Meir says that it's the time when the Kahanim are Toivim. Now the Kahanim, they have to be Toivim in the daytime, before night. So when the time that they're Toivim, that's when it's the time of Krishna, which is an earlier, which is yet an earlier Shia, an earlier time period. So he says that that's even a earlier time period, and that's when you're Kaya Krishna. Omar Loi Rabbi Huda, how can you say that? How Loi Kohanim Iboi Jaim? Kohanim, they are Taival from Iboi Jaim. They Taival that even in the daytime. So how can you say that's a sman of Krishna at night? That's daytime. You're telling me it's the time the Kahanam are toival. The Kahanam are toival in the daytime. Now, as a side point, the Gemara later on, on in Daf Gimel, will point out an apparent contradiction of Ramer. Here, Ramer says when the Kahanam are toival. And previously we learned where Ramer says when the people eat the meal Arab Shabbos. So the Gemara will deal with this apparent contradiction in Ramer. And Ruchanina says it's the time when the Ani comes to eat his meal. He says that's when the majority of the people come to eat their meal. That's when they eat their meal. And Rashi says that this is the latest share. This is the latest share. Now, we Amrit Ani Vikoin Chachiurahu, how can you possibly say that Ani and Koin is the same Shir? If that's so, Rav Chanina and Rav Yeshua, then they're saying the same thing. We see that they're arguing. We see that they're arguing. It's Koin and Ani. There's two separate opinions over here. It can't be that's the same Shir. El Allah, Shema Mina, Shiur the Ani Lachud, Vishur the Koin Lachud, Shema Mina. Therefore, you must say that the Ani and the Koin are two separate Shiur. They're not one and the same Shiur. Frank, the Gemara, Haim Yinayim Uchar. Okay, that's fine, but which one is the later one? Which one is the earlier one? The Gemara says, Mistabra, the Ani Muchar. It's more mistaken to say that the ani is the later shir. It's after tzeisukham. The amrit on the ani muktam because if you're going to say that it's before tzeisukachavim, Rav Chanina and Rabbi Lazar, then it will come out that Rav Chanina is the same time period as Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Lazar who said that shakita shayyim barav shabbos is on the onset of Shabbos. Now, if the ani is before tzeisukachavim, then it will come out that it's the same shir of must be that Ani is after Tzaytsu Chom makes a conclusive right. Tzaytsu says theoretically, even if you say that the Ani is before Tzaytsu, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the same time as Kiddush Yom Rav Shabbosas, because between Ben Hashemoshes and Tzaytsu, there could be another shear. So he says, it's not stubborn to say that we subdivide it so finely into such small components that between Kiddush Yom and Seis, there would be another shear. Now, so we have all of these shiurim over here, these various shiurim of when the time of Krishna at night is. And we say that some of them are related to when people eat. When the Ani eats, when people generally eat during the week or when they eat on Shabbos. So Tais has asked the question, how can you say that it's when the people eat? If that's a Saman of Krishna, then they're not allowed to eat. Once it comes the time of Krishna, 
one must recite Krishna, one cannot eat the meal, one cannot eat a meal if it's his man Krishna and he hasn't recited Krishna. So therefore, Taisa says, what it means is not precisely at the time when they eat the meal. It means a little bit beforehand, when they're nichnas, when they're nichnasim, when they come into the meal and the meal is starting to be prepared, that's his man Krishna, that's when they recite Krishna and they eat the meal afterwards. Now, if that's the case, an interesting question arises. <clears throat> We're saying that the Zmana Krishna at nighttime, and it's when the people come in, when they eat their meal, which in according to Taisis, it means even before they eat their meal. But in any event, the Zmana Krishna at night is Bishachach, when people go to sleep. Now, this is not when people go to sleep. It's a time they haven't even eaten their meal yet. It's prior to them eating their meal, so they're not going to sleep. So in what way do we consider this in what way do we consider this the time of going to sleep? The Chayr, it's the Dover Pella. Now, we discussed before, and we'll see later, is it the time they're starting to go to sleep? Is it the time that they're sleeping? But really, according to many of these shitas, it's, it's neither, it's none of them. It's really, and in fact, according to all of the shitas, that they haven't even eaten their meal yet. So it's very difficult, but perhaps the pshad is, is when we say that they are going to sleep. It doesn't mean literally that they're going to sleep. It means that they're retiring for the evening. The day is finished. Their work is finished. Their activities are finished. Now they're retiring for the evening, which is a process of now eating their meal and preparing themselves to go to sleep. That's the man of Krishna at night.